Hello and welcome to another YouTube video here on this channel. Today I am showing you how I am planning my projects, which mainly are my different YouTube videos inside of Tuse. As you can see, I have the para system inside of here with areas, projects, resources, uh, and archive. I will probably make an areas whiteboard and put all of these whiteboards inside of there. Uh, but right now this is how it looks but let's, ju let's just jump into my personal social media board where I have two ongoing projects I have the commonplace book as well as the note-taking app and I am probably going to make one more which is called uh, two's templates who's second brain template because I'm doing a two's video later this week and I have a note taking app video that is coming I will show you this a little bit later in the video but let's just jump into this one and we will find my notes so let's say I will find two's because I did uh, I did a note on two's uh, earlier this week and I will need to find something regarding note taking. And here I have all of my different note taking apps. Is there anything inside of here? Let's search for second brain and we will put the capturing habit as well as note taking organically inside of here. And that's the notes I'm probably going to use and I will put new notes inside of this. So let's show you another example. Here I have my uh, note-taking app video. It is coming later this week, but there is a lot of work. So I have categorized these apps into librarian, gardening, architect, and student apps. And here I've just used the text to organize them. I could have organized them inside of different whiteboards, but that won't be necessary for this one. And I've just put every single card beneath this, um, beneath one of these. And as you can see, there are a lot of notes. Everything has backlinks. Everything is pretty organized inside of, uh, inside of Heptabase. And this is probably what Heptabase is good for organizing notes to actually use them. That's why I use Heptabase only for notes and ideas that are actionable. So a lot of these notes come from twos. That's where I take my notes uh, every time I have an idea or I want to jot down something. But when it is actionable, I will put it inside of here. You could also just put every note inside of Heptabase. So this is how it looks and I will probably end up scripting this video inside of Word when I'm done with all of my notes. There are probably a couple other note taking apps that I haven't uh, put inside of here yet. I'm still in the researching phase. But when I am done with all of my research, I will put this into into a word document and script my whole video so that goes for all of my uh, projects that's how i use it so right now i have three with the videos i am working on the commonplace book will probably not come for at least a couple of weeks but these two i am working on right now and hopefully will be able to put out there within the week but I will take all of my notes inside of these whiteboards and when I'm done with whiteboards I will move them uh, so I can easily move this to and search for archived uh, and I can put it inside of my archive and uh, then I will be able to see all of the projects I've completed inside of archive. I love just being able to see that I have accomplished something every time I have a bad day, week, month, whatever. I will go into my archive and see all of the things I've been able to complete. But overall, that's how I plan a project inside of Heptabase and it is quite easy to do. So you can just jump into one of your uh, whiteboards, right click, uh, add 
a, a new whiteboard and you can go into this whiteboard uh, and you can start and add new cards you can either do that by right clicking or just double clicking anywhere on the page you can also add mind maps sections another whiteboard journal pages or even text like i have done here so here i have added text to organize them so that's simply how i organize my projects inside of heptabase